In the end, it was actually worth it. I ended up unlocking this camo yesterday. You know, yesterday I was gonna make a video on it, but I just, I had that craving to go back and play Modern Warfare 2019, so I made a video on that instead. In the last video that I made on this whole magma camo situation, I met the original threshold that it said, but you know, when the UI was still bugged, quote unquote, which I don't think it was actually bugged. I believe that that was actually the original goal, but then they realized, oh, this won't actually take people two weeks to complete. So then they like bumped it up artificially. At least, you know, that's what I think. I just don't understand how the goal was, you know, bugged and saying 400 some thousand XP. I just, I, I don't know. Something seems fishy there, but you know, whatever. That's conspiracy theory territory. We won't worry about that too much. Regardless, I had met that initial goal of like 400 some thousand XP. And then obviously that wasn't enough. And they updated it to where you needed like 1.2 million XP. So I went back and I grinded out the remaining 800,000 XP in one day. It, it was a long day. Regardless, yeah, it, it was definitely worth it. This is a very beautiful camo. If anything, this kind of reminds me of the Mob of the Dead pack a punch camo from Black Ops 2. With that being said, uh, I think we ought to just dive into a game and, you know, just use it in game. As much as I don't want to play this map because I've had to play it a ton to get this camo done, I mean, it, <laughs> it's the quick, it's the quickest map of the game. Eat is just up there with, like, the holy grail of small Call of Duty maps, right? We got, like, Shoot House, Shipment, Das House, and now there's meat. This camo actually looks sick when you put it on, on like, like a black cell variant of a weapon because you can still see like the black cell like smoke coming off of it and with the magma oh it just looks so good Ooh, look at this thing with the way it's moving all around okay i don't know if this is how the camo is actually always supposed to look on the ram 7 or if it just looks slightly different because i'm rocking a black cell variant because like i know with some camos like it kind of clashes with the black cells and gives it like a different look so I don't know if that's happening right now and if this is supposed to look different, but regardless, I mean, it still looks amazing. Also, I know I've been saying up to this point where I've been like, hey, you know, I have all these extra COD points, but I don't think I'm actually going to spend them. I think I'm going to spend them just because, like, look, they're already in my account as is. That's 4,000 COD points, and if I, even if I buy, like, a 2,400 or a 2,800 COD point, do you think I have enough for the next battle pass anyway? So, you know, it's one of those things where I could either hold on to these till COD 2024 and wait for a bundle that I want there, or I could just, you know, get one now. And I found one bundle that was kind of tugging at my nostalgia strings it's the one where it's like she's got a skateboard on her back and the one weapon where it shows like the advanced warfare and ghost thing I grew up in the early 2000s so you know i was there for the days of like avril levine and tony hawks pro skater i'm from that era so every time i see skateboards and stuff like that and like the bright car it's just i i can't help myself i truly do believe that like the early 2000s is like one of the best eras that anybody could have ever been alive for i think that and the early 2010s or like like late 2000s early 2010s like that that era, those two are tied for being like some of the best eras to be alive for in different ways. Like the early 2000s to the mid 2000s was like just some of the best times to be alive, period. But then when it comes to like the late 2000s, early 2010s, those were like the best times for like the internet, I wanna say. They're both nostalgic for me for like very different reasons, but I, I just, oh man, I love both those eras for so many different reasons. It was just, oh man, it was just one of those things where it's like you had to be there. I miss how simple life was sometimes. It, you know, there was no worries or anything like that. You just wake up, you, you know, you turn on your PS2, pop in your copy of spongebob battle for bikini bottom and that was it you might grab a capri sun if it's a hot day and you just chill and play some games one of my favorite memories from back then was going to gamestop I just just game going to gamestop period okay the sentence could end there and you know that would be more than enough right because game going to gamestop back in the day before you know they they became what they are now it was just a whole different thing like you know the vibes were different it was just i don't know man gamestop actually was like really special back in the day i mean even nowadays it is still special but it's just like i don't know there's some things when it comes to like getting games from them or it's like I don't know, man. Them GameStop cases, like, nowadays, looking at it through the lens of a collector, it's like, ah, I don't know, man. Or when you buy a new game and it's not even new because it's already been open, like, that's literally false advertising. One of my favorite memories was going to GameStop and picking up Battlefront 2 for the first time. I'll never forget going home that afternoon, popping the game into my PS2, going, ch I, I didn't even go for the campaign. First thing I went for was just, like, the instant action, just because I wanted to get into the game and just see what it was like. I'll never forget popping into Mos Eisley, dropping in, playing as, like, Anakin and Mace Windu and facing off against, like, Darth Vader and stuff like that. Oh, man. That was just, oh, just so many memories. Other good memories of mine were picking up, like, Spider-Man 2 at GameStop or, like, the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. I still have my original copy of that to this day. That's, that's like, one of my most played Street Fighter games, period. It comes with Street Fighter 2, 3, and it also has the Street Fighter movie on it. For those of you that have seen that before, that movie's a classic. I'm doing the math in my head, and Battle Passes tend to give you even more COD points, so even if I would want another bundle next season, I could easily get one, because I'm sure that the Vault Edition for this year is also gonna come with a Black Excel Battle Pass, so I'm probably just gonna get even more COD points dumped on me. Not to mention the fact that I never buy bundles any other time, so again, all the COD points are just gonna be accruing, so I'll probably have enough for, you know, a bundle at some point next year anyway. 
So with all these con points I'm sitting on, they're literally not going to anything else anyway. I think it's time that I just say, screw it. You know, I already have the con points. It's not like I'm actually giving them money. I'm just, you know, using the in-game currency that I already have. So I don't really feel like I'm doing anything wrong. Again, it's just it's screaming in my 2000s nostalgia with the skateboards and all that. And furthermore, you got these weapons where like every time that you preview the weapon, it literally shows like advanced warfare and Call of Duty. Like I, I just, I, I have to do it. There it is. First bundle purchase in Modern Warfare 3 and also probably the last. I never do more than one bundle per game. And in fact, I only did one bundle back in Cold War and I haven't purchased a single one since then. But, you know, I already have the cop points. It is what it is. Dude, and they knew what they were doing. They knew that they were, like, just, re you know, reeling in the nostalgia junkies like me. Because, like, with this emblem and everything, like, oh, man, dude. I, oh, man, that's another thing. Arcades back in the day. Are there, I mean, I'm sure there's still some arcades around, but, oh, it's not like they used to be. Just one more quarter. Just one more try. Dude, <laughs> those were some different times. Here we go. We can go ahead and slap this one on, man, with the skateboard on the back. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, one of the reasons that I really wanted to pick up this bundle I honestly have no idea what weapon it's even for so now I get to do this fun thing where I kind of scroll through is it is it for the rival nine arcade rhythm is this the one I want to say it was one of the cruising games or something it was it was one of those games similar to that but I remember me and my grandpa used to play it all the time in the arcade back in the day they had like the wheel there and everything oh man those, those were good times but one of the main reasons that I wanted this bundle along with the skateboard is when you go to inspect it as you can see right there it shows Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and there's like you know all the buttons and things on the thing and then it says update requires restart like <laughs> It's just, it's absolutely amazing. I love it. And the best part is for like a frame when you first inspect it before it says Advanced Warfare, it's just Call of Duty goes like ever so slight. Like you, it's one of those things where like blink and you miss it, but like ever so slightly it pops up. But yeah, dude, this is, I, I won't lie. This is pretty cool. Whoa, look at the like muzzle flash when you shoot the thing, dude. That is actually sick. It's like 8-bit and everything. Yeah, dude, this one is definitely for the nostalgia junkies for me. But hey, you know, you know, again, I don't feel too bad because I already paid for the vault edition. It's not like I paid for the cop points outright. I already just kind of had them sitting in my account. So it's not like I was giving Activision money. Which even still, I wouldn't feel too bad for giving Activision money now simply because Microsoft owns them and Bobby Kotick, that slime ball of a human being, is gone. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I'm pretty sure game me another weapon too i honestly don't even know where it's located or what is it is, is it a marksman rifle the mtz interceptor i hear it is the coin feeder i don't know if this one has any oh my dude the buttons on it are colored like the super famicom that is so freaking sick i don't know how much i'm actually gonna end up using this weapon specifically just because i don't use marksman rifles too much i mean I mean, I, this is probably something that I could probably use over in Warzone because, you know, I'm not the best with snipers in Warzone, if I'm going to be honest, just because, you know, the, the, just with the ranges and the way that people move with the sly canceling. For medium to long range and bench engagements, I bet that the Rival 9 would be pretty close for close range and this for, like, medium to long range. So, who knows? I'm, I might go over into Warzone and see how this performs. I just noticed that too, right as I was backing out. After you're done shooting, like, the smoke on the weapon is also 8-bit in a way. So, like, you can, you can just barely see it, but it also has, like, a bit of an 8-bit flare, flare to it. So, yeah, yeah, actually, that looks pretty cool. But anyway, so that being said, uh, I don't really know what's up the pipeline for COD right now. I mean, I know we have this event going on for like another week, but we only have 28 days left in the season. So you think that we'd be getting season one reloaded soon? Uh, I don't think they've actually confirmed it at the time of me recording this. I mean, I checked their thing right before recording this video just in case and I didn't see anything yet. The latest, I guess we might see it next week, but that just, I don't know. That feels like uh, just really soon before the season ends. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I don't know. We'll know soon enough. Unless the whole Vortex update was supposed to be Season 1 Reloaded, then I, I guess we already got it. I don't know. But anyway, as always, massive shout-out. Thank you to all the page on the channel. Remember, thank you to all in the low-ball tier. And bigger shout-out. Thank you to all in the mid-ball tier. My last game, but daddy, many of the biggest shout-out. Thank you to all in GT Run Avenge. Thank you guys so much. You guys are literal legends. I love you. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. Peace.